What's up guys? So this week I'm going to show you all what one of my hobbies is. Um, as you all can tell probably from my bookcase, I love to read a lot. I love uh, collecting books um, and I love to read not just fiction, not just nonfiction, but all different kinds of genres and all different areas. Um, so today I have a couple of books that I brought out to show you guys that I think are cool. Um, some of them are, are fiction, others are nonfiction, some of them are historical, and some of them are more than 100 years old. So, let's take a look at some of these awesome books. First of all, everyone had their favorite series to read when they were a kid. For me, I love mysteries. I still love Sherlock Holmes. I read through Sherlock Holmes' complete works probably three or four times. They are awesome, but when I was a kid, it was all about the Hardy Boys. Now, these are a little old. This is the detective handbook. But this was a series, a detective series written for kids, middle schoolers and high schoolers. And these are my dad's. He actually collected them. And I probably have close to 40 of them. Um, but these are awesome. This is the second one. It's called The House on the Cliff. Um, and it's about these two dudes and their brothers and they are detectives. Um, so super exciting. I love reading these and the vintage ones, you can tell that they're vintage because they all have a little portrait on the spine here. So these ones are, they're probably from the 19, late 1950s, early 1960s. So this one says 1959, but yeah, they're, they were one of my favorite series to read growing up. Um, I also like some classics, classic fiction. I have a Charles Dickens here, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This book is really cool. Um, it is a collector's edition and it has some of the original illustrations. As you can see, this is what some of them look like. They are pencil sketch, some of them are colored in. Um, and this was the original artist who illustrated for Charles Dickens. So these books are really, really cool. Let me see if I can find another picture here. Here we go. Really awesome illustrations. Anyway, so this is Charles Dickens. I'm a great fan of his stuff. Um, I'm trying to read all of his novels. So far I've read four, um, four or five of them. You know, you've got A Christmas Carol, you've got Oliver Twist, Great Expectations is one, Tale of Two Cities. They're all really good. Um, let's see, what else do I have? So this is a play. I have William Tell. The famous, famous story of the Swiss archer who shot an apple off his own son's head. This is really cool. It actually was written in German and then translated into English. And the illustrations in this book are, they're kind of uh, sketched in. So as you can see, they're kind of like sketching. Really cool, really neat illustrations, a really great story. Um, so I really like this one. And then everyone has to have a little medieval fantasy in their life. Um, everyone knows about Robin Hood and King Arthur, and so one of the classics that I love to read is King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Um, and then this book actually comes with both. You've got King Arthur and Robin Hood. So these illustrations are super awesome because they are paintings. Let me see if I can find one. Yes, so this is King Arthur and his princess right there. Really, really cool artwork. So that's another one I love to read. Uh, this little guy, this little book here, is Shakespeare, The Tempest. This was my grandparents. Actually, I was going through their basement a couple summers ago, and they had some really awesome old books in there. And this one actually looks like it was printed in 1915. So this book is over 100 years old. Really cool pocket edition, really tiny, um, but it's a great way to bring Shakespeare with you if you want to read something 
when you're out and about. Let's see, what else do I have? Let's move these around. This I got at an antique store and being homeschooled, we had a lot of older style curriculum that we used. This is a set of the McGuffey readers. Um, so it has a primer and then it has six readers. Um, it was meant for young students to begin reading when they were very, very young. So they started in kindergarten. And this book has letters and numbers. Learning to read, really super duper easy. And it teaches you to read, it teaches you pronunciation and the letters of the alphabet and phonograms. Really cool stuff. This book set was actually published um, in 1922. So it's almost 100 years old. And by the time they're in the sixth reader, they're probably reading post high school literature like something we would study in a British Lit class or an Intro to Lit class, or if you're getting a literature degree from a university nowadays. So let's see, let's take a look at the table of contents. We've got Shakespeare, we've got Dryden, Charles Dickens, Patrick Henry, Sir Humphrey Davy, all these really cool authors. Let's see. Sir Walter Scott. He was very difficult to read, Sir Walter Scott. Uh, let's see. Washington Irving. Charles Sprague. We've got... We have a lot of Shakespeare. Oliver Wendell Holmes. Washington Irving. Thomas Jefferson. Daniel Webster. He's a good read. And Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. So we've got a lot of cool cool reads in this book and it's actually still formatted um, as a school book so there's the reading for the day there are some highlighted points um, of vocabulary words that the student may not be familiar with it's really awesome um, and this set was published and made in the early 1920s so really old and really awesome and this one is in excellent condition. It looks like it was almost never used, so lucky me, right? Lucky day. All right, so that's some, some fiction and some, some really cool historic books. I also like to read nonfiction. Um, I like reading about worldviews, uh, world religion, science, history, that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a I got this uh, in high school, The Universe Next Door, and it talks about the seven most common worldviews that we find around the globe. And it, it evaluates them according to seven key questions. So the worldviews are Christian theism, deism, naturalism, nihilism, existentialism, Eastern pantheistic monism, and the New Age. And actually, it looks like he has nine, and then postmodernism. So this book is really, really good. I recommend it. It's a great read. You can probably find it on Amazon. Not super expensive, but it's a really cool read. Um, and then I love reading about economics. So I have some classics here. We've got Milton Friedman, Free to Choose. If you don't know anything about econ and you want to get started, this is a great read. He doesn't word things super complicatedly. Um, and he just, he really talks to your average person and it makes a lot of sense. So I recommend that one. And then we've got an old, old, old classic here, Adam Smith. Wealth of Nations. This author, Adam Smith, was the father of modern economic thought. Um, and he wrote, he published this book, I believe, in 1775. The edition I have was printed in 1937. So this one is really cool. Um, I've actually read two ish of the five books. It was originally published in five volumes. But anyway, I won't be boring anymore. Um, those are just some of the books I like to read. Um, if you guys like books, uh, um, leave me a shout out. Put your favorite author in the comments. But anyway, my week is going great. 
this class work is going great. And then also my internship, I'm in my second week and my coworker that I'm teamed up with is just awesome. And I love working together. So that's going really well. Um, you know, y'all have a great week and I look forward to watching your videos too. I already saw some really, really cool hobbies. So have a great week, y'all.